So hello guys and welcome back to the new video. Uh, today we are gonna make a video on the character builds for uh, Genshin Impact characters and we are gonna start with Zhao. I did a community post and wherein I asked you guys if you want me to make character build videos and the people who responded at least said that they want to see some character builds videos as a free to play character perspective. And uh, I'm going to start with Zhao because Zhao is the character I have spent most hours perfecting his artifacts and his uh, damage output as much I, as I could. And I started with the weapon black uh, white tassel and then right now I'm currently using the black liquid. And we'll get back to that in the later stage of the video. But right now we are going to start with Zhao and we're going to talk about her uh, what his playstyle is, how to like, use him, uh, what talents to ascend uh, as a priority, and uh, then uh, what all artifact you can uh, use with him, what substats, what weapons, how much damage each weapon can give you, and then we'll switch on to his team comp and we'll do some uh, domains and show how much damage Zhao can output. So let's get started with that. So as the talents, uh, Zhao has uh, three main uh, talents. The first one is his normal attacks, then uh, his uh, basically dash, the wind cycling. And uh, for a C0 Zhao, you get two of these. Uh, you can use it, it twice. And if you have a C1 Zhao, you can use it twice, I guess. Then uh, his ult, the bread and butter for him, for his damage, uh, has a good amount of scaling on level 10. Uh, around 95% uh, of attack uh, bonus you get and then uh, uh, you basically output that in every plunge attack you do and uh, there is also lower plunge and high plunge we'll talk about it that as well for his normal attack on level 10 you get uh, on the first hit you get 49% then 101, 122 and you can basically read this and his E also scales. I haven't uh, scale leveled up it to level 10 yet. I haven't triple crowned him. Just double crowned uh, my job. His E is basically uh, to deal some amount of damage and recuperate his uh, energy while uh, cycling uh, through characters and you know, uh, getting by his, back his ult ready. And has a good scaling as well 404% uh, on level 8. So. Uh, in my opinion, the talent priority should be your normal attack first, uh, your uh, ult and then your E because E is basically getting energy back and dealing some damage uh, in doing so. Uh, so yeah, that's how his main three talents are. Then uh, his passive is while under the effect of Bane of All, basically his ult. All Zhao's uh, dam dealt uh, by all damage dealt by Zhao increased by five percent. Damage increased by further five percent for every three seconds. The ability persists. So basically, the maximum uh, the uh, the duration of your ult is three or uh, fifteen percent. So you can have five stacks of this so around uh, uh, twenty five percent more uh, damage you get uh, as long as you stay in his ult. And the maximum damage you can get is also uh, 25. So the maximum you'll get is 25 from this. Then his talent is while using his uh, uh, wind cycling. Uh, the subsequent hit, so basically you use it once and as uh, you use the second immediately, you'll get a 15% uh, damage bonus in that. And then he also reduces your uh, party members uh, climbing stamina. So basically, you, you consume less time now while climbing to Zhao is any point. So these are his uh, talents. So yeah, that's how his talents are. Now let's talking about his uh, artifacts. Zhao can, you know, is a very uh, versatile uh, character. You can use a lot of uh, two pieces with him. Basically, the basically there are two pieces that give you attack. So you can give him Gladiator with Shemnavas. You can use the new. Uh, Artifacts domain wherein you get uh, the uh, Verminian uh, set, Verminian set, and also the echoes of an offering. You can use uh, two pieces of these as well because both of them give you 18% attack. Whichever you have good uh, substats on, you can use them. And uh, for a 
in slot uh, placement of artifact basically the best in slot uh, would be the vermeer as it can you know basically give you more attack as you lose your hp and uh, Jao does lose hp while he's in it he's in his ult uh, when you're using his ult you do lose some hp and that will translate into attack if you use the four piece but in what i have tested i, I don't have a four piece set on this account i do have it on my alternate account uh, the two piece set uh, bonus of 18% with the two permutation combination I have told you mm, work out to be more damage with the substats I have. If you're lucky and you have good substats on your Vermeer set, you can use that as well. It will also give you good uh, uh, damage output. For my uh, my Zhao, I'm using two piece Shamnava and two piece Carriator. And for the primary stat, you basically need crit rate or crit damage on a circlet. For uh, your uh, goblet, you need uh, any more damage. This translates into the most damage you can get because in his ult, all his attacks are converted into any more damage. So, yeah, this will increase that as well. Then for your sands, you need attack. And feather is always attack. You need the substats to be crit rate, crit damage, attack percentage or energy recharge i don't have attack percentage or energy on my feather if i had it that would have been much better for me but i don't really have that right now i just have crit rate and crit damage with hp percentage and elemental mastery and for fly also same you need attack percentage crit rate crit damage or energy on your substrat i have attack percentage didn't roll that much crit damage did roll a lot got to 27.2 percent and then energy recharge if I had created also, this would have been a good tier artifact, but yeah, I do this will also work. And for my uh, circulate, I have energy recharge, crit rate as a substrat, crit damage as primary, HP, elemental. I didn't get that lucky with my substrat, I didn't get attack on my substrat on all my artifacts. Uh, that would have really helped in the Zhao's build, because he does really need attack. The more attack you have on him, the more... Uh, damage he outputs and that's that's how his teams are also formed uh, the teams which give him attack buff are more uh, beneficial to Zha. and also for my more damage goblet i only have crit rate and energy as good subset of the rest who are flat this if these were crit damage or attack would have been much better but i don't really have them so yeah these are the artifacts i have i'll uh, quickly rotate through them as well uh, the artifacts I have. So these artifacts give me around 36% uh, crit rate and 140 crit damage. And for the weapon, I am right now using uh, a black leaf pole. And I did start with uh, the white tassel, but I quickly switched to death mask uh, because it gives you a good crit rate and it helps me balance out my artifacts. And but it does have a low base attack 454 only. And it, compared to this, the weapon I am using right now is Black Leaf Pole, which has 510 base attack and 55% crit damage. So, this really helped me to balance my artifact and give my job the maximum damage I could. Also, the passive is also good, it, it gives you 5 12% uh, attack person attack percent. Uh, when you defeat an enemy, and this can be stacked for three times on R1 uh, Black Leaf Pool, this trans to, translates to 36% of attack that you gain from this weapon specific. And for Death Match, it's 16% attack and death increase. So, this is a buff that's active throughout when you are fighting uh, uh, enemies more than two. And if uh, there are uh, enemies less than two, you your attack increase by 20 yeah, it's good for fighting solo boss as well. So this is also a good weapon, but you you will have to invest into battle pass to get this. So if you are completely free to play and you don't want to spend uh, your uh, uh, money on this, you can go for uh, Black Leaf Pole. I did save for this and you know, save my targeter and uh, avoid temptation to pull for characters and got this weapon and now I'm using this the best in slot that I have uh, found out for the free to play with uh, player. You didn't have any 5 star pole arms. If you have a 5 star pole arm, you can use that. Most of the 5 star pole arms are good on him. Uh, you can, if you have, you can try 
uh, them or you can say for lucky so this this is what i use and gives me the maximum damage i could you can use the catch as well on him gives you elemental burst but this uh, is not that effective as the attack percentage boost you get from that match or that because Zhao really needs attack the more attack he has the better damage output you can get with them so these are the three weapons i'll be showcasing uh, that if you have these three weapons what sort of damage you can really get out of them you can use white tassel uh, there's no denying if you don't have any gold star you can use uh, white tassel i didn't use it initially gives you good crit rate on uh, level uh, 90 i haven't uh, really ascended it that much but you, you do get good crit rate from it from this weapon and also you get uh, normal attack damage boost you don't really do that uh, that uh, that number of uh, you didn't really do uh, you don't really do normal attacks on job but yeah this can be used to insert certain scenarios so this is how my Shaw build is right now i have around 61 percent crit rate uh, 245 crit damage and 122 energy uh, if you, uh, you're using Supros as I am using or any other Enemo battery, 120 to 140 will, will do. If you're not using Enemo battery, you need around 140, above 140 crit energy recharge for Zhao to constantly proc result. So yeah, this is how my Zhao is right now. Let's see what sort of damage we can output with him. So yeah, let's start with the, the catch. With the, the catch my attack is around 1967 and my ratio is 61% crit rate and 190 crit damage with 168 and so I am not balancing my crit damage with food because you won't be using food every time and uh, basically uh, that's the use of a weapon to increase your ratio and uh, I don't want to use food because that's that's not really the real world scenario. You can't use food in spiral, which is the end uh, goal, to be honest. So yeah, that's why I'm not using food here. I will just show how much damage you can get. So with all my buffs, uh, with the catch, you can really get around 52k damage. And as my bandit ult is not there anymore, you can get around 45, 46. And with just Zhao and the weapon, you get around 32k damage. So yeah, the maximum damage with the all the buffs the team provides is around uh, 52k. Okay, on high punch, on uh, low punch you'll get around 36, 38, and. Yeah, that's that's the uh, damage you can get with the cash. The de decent damage, no, not bad. Bad, you can hit constantly around 40, 52k, 46k with the uh, job. You have a team that gives him attack boost. And if you don't have uh, Bennett or Zhongli or Sucrose, you can use other. Uh, Teams also with him. You can use Mona, you can use uh, Venti, you can use uh, uh, Kazwa if you have uh, really any any more battery with him so that you give him energy and attack boosting uh, support with maybe with Thrilling Tales or you can use Tensity of Mela, Novelist set to give him attack. Basically, you have to increase his attack as much as you can. Let's see how much damage we can output with the deathmatch. With deathmatch also the crit, da crit damage will remain same, 190, but crit rate will increase. That doesn't really uh, translate into damage per se, but it does increase the frequency of the damage you will be delivering. But the maximum damage will remain the same. Uh, above 60% is uh, really not that different. You can basically constantly proc the damage with the uh, job if you have 60% or above uh, you say a uh, uh, crit rate on it you don't really need a lot of crit rate as much as you need crit damage and uh, attack percentage yeah what is 
46, 48 plus K. Granted, I not use all my buff. Try this again. Similar attack you can get with the, the black uh, that much as well. I uh, have to try this domain again because I didn't reduce all my buffs. The buffs somewhat expired, and then the enemies also were not in the range of my attacks. Try this time with the pitch. I have this many time with that much, see the damage to reach achieved with that much. The ratio right now I have is 97 to 190 crit damage and energy each other same 122. I do run density on my uh Chongli and then Nobilis on my Bennett to get the maximum attack boost I can. Damage you can get around 56k uh, with that much as well, and uh, around 45 40k uh, when your Bennett ult expires. So, yeah, you can hit around 55 56k with these sort of uh, hit ratios, and uh, that match 1190 R1. Uh, you can go higher in damage if you have more refinements. I just have R1. And now it's time to use the Black Leaf Pool, which I am using currently. And it gives me the maximum damage I can get out of my job. Also, when you are fully stacked on the weapon, and yeah, that's how much damage you can get with Jao with Black Lift Pool. I have uh, got around 72k maximum in uh, domain where there are more buffs, and on 11th floor, you can get around 77 78k with Jao in the current Spiral Abyss that has any more bonus on it. So, yeah, the maximum damage I have with Black Lift Pool is around 70k. 72k on uh, Shao with all the puffs. So that, in my opinion, that's the best free-to-play weapon you can get with uh, Shao. Black Leaf Pool can uh, save your star later and get this weapon easily. And it does get better with the refinement, but R1 is also pretty good. It gives you good opportunity to you know get good crit damage and crit rate. I have crit rate around 61 with Black Leaf Pool, 245 crit damage, and then. But to energy recharge gives me good amount of damage output with this combination. Also, uh, now let's talk about his teams. So, uh, what I use is uh, Zhao with the uh, Sucrose as an Emo battery, then Bennett for attack boost and the Zhongli to shred uh, the resistance of the enemies. If you don't have Zhongli, you can use any other uh, shielder with density. Uh, on him so that you give some amount of attack from that as well and if you don't have Bennett you can use other attack boosting uh, uh, characters like uh, uh, like Mona or you can use a, a support character with Nobilis that will also give you 20% attack boost to your party and if you don't have uh, uh, Sucrose you can use uh, 
any other uh, animal like sheen or uh, sayu or if you have kazwa you can use that your venti you can use that as a battery for your shower and give him more attack i use this team this is the uh, best team with the characters i have i have made and it gives me a lot of uh, attack boost and a good uh, damage output i i can perfect my jao more but yeah in genshin you <laughs> you can grind for years and still not get good artifacts for the artifacts i have this is the damage output i am currently doing with my jao so if you want to build jao you can follow the steps i have shown you and get near about the damage i have shown as i i don't use any five star weapons or some exotic uh, you say uh, constellations or anything on jao there's just c0 jao with the artifacts i showed you and the weapon and this is the damage you cannot do hey you know a lot of streamers and youtubers show you unrealistic numbers uh, in, in 200 100k or more than 200k on jao mostly those are using five star weapons and a uh, couple of constellations on jao to damage that what output i did get lured into those damage and thought that my job could also put out that much damage and i was puzzled for months farming and you know trying to get best art by trying to deal damage but couldn't really do the that much damage on him uh, then i started saving for black leaf moon and once i did get it that's the maximum damage i could output uh, with that weapon and around 72 to 70k and i guess i can get more damage if i can get good substat better than these and increase my attack and also some good crit damage uh, some more crit damage on my artifacts but yeah currently this is the damage i am outputting and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and do let me know if there are characters other than jao as well you want to see i have a lot of uh, characters on my main account mostly i do have all the four stars in the game till now i mean i have all of the four stars in the game yep all the four stars in the game and i have constellation for most of them and for the five stars i have yaimiko i have raiden i have yoimiya kamisata wayaka igula jao albedo jongli uh, child then kashing mona chichi and jing uh, i have sort of built all of these and tried getting good artifacts on them but yeah if you want to see any of these characters uh, in a build do let me know i do have uh, kutao and uh, ayato on my alt account and also ito on one of my alt account so if you want to if you want to see builds on them do let me know in the comment box And till then, uh, take care, stay safe, stay home, and keep working, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.